Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I have a lot of things that I'm trying to get listed and oh, I just wanna be able to list it much faster than I'm able to. It takes time to put things together and then take pictures and get them on the website. Anyway, I had so much fun putting this together. I purchased some fabric recently brand new fabric samples. They are absolutely beautiful. I have a lot of packs that I need to list. I'm working on that this evening. I have paper packs to list. This is a supply book. Nothing is uh, attached to anything permanently with this. It's just some beautiful supplies to work with and it's very much a study of neutral colors. I just came across this beautiful postcard that kind of inspired the whole thing. You will see that it is tied through these rings and this is just a stack of fabric samples all in neutral colors. There's some hemp cord that goes through the rings at the top, the rings at the bottom, and then the cord has uh, buttons. Each of the four pieces has four buttons. So there are four black buttons here. A lot of these are vintage. I don't think these are vintage. Uh, they may have a little age to them. I'm not sure, but I don't think they're super, super old. At any rate, they are really, really pretty. And they do add some sparkle to this otherwise very um, low-key. I don't want to say bland because I don't, I don't think it's bland at all. It's just really neutral. It's very calm. And then on these we have some wooden buttons, some metal. Again, there's another sort of sparkly button. That one's pretty. So that looks like wood, but I don't think it is. These two are wooden. So every page has uh, a base of a fabric sample. And then there's a piece of fabric that is wrapped around some sort of ephemera, a postcard, and I've used a piece of fabric to attach everything uh, with the paper clip on top for two reasons. One is not to leave an imprint on the postcard, and the other reason is just to give you another piece of fabric to work with. This is a linen cotton, just a little square that I used on every page. So I'm just going to flip through and show you everything. There are a lot of supplies here to use, and this is actually just really pretty to look through the way it is. It wasn't too long ago that I did a spread and a really large journal about Rembrandt. This postcard is, of course, one of Rembrandt's paintings. The name of this postcard is just a woman bathing in a stream. I'm not sure who it is. When I was learning about him, it said that it was thought that Saskia was a model for a lot of his paintings. She died really young, so later on, of course, she could not have been. Let's keep flipping. A lot of pretty fabric to use. Um, there are pieces, again, folded over each page. I love this little card. This is a greeting card. Write your own story. Again, I stayed with really, really neutral colors. Can you imagine if you collaged each separate piece? I think some really large book rings would be gorgeous in this. Just two metal rings and really embellish each one with just a palette of neutral colors. You could add a little bit of color into each one and this would be so stunning. You could do the front and the back. The uses for something like this are just so you could use safety pins and attach charms and something like this. It can remain a supply book. It can be, hold things like straight pins and safety pins and all sorts of things like that. There's another pretty postcard fabric wrapped around. There is a postcard of Marilyn, a little piece of ephemera with a poem, the master of my boat. That made me really stop and think about her because there's a lot of debate about she seems just the quintessential independent do what I want to person and yet she is often spoken of as sort of a shy person um, maybe more introverted than everyone realized and very vulnerable and misguided by some people. So who really knows? I certainly don't know. So let me pull a piece of thread off. Some of these are cut and they will have some 
unraveling going on, you're going to have to do something to either sew the edges or glue. I will let you decide how you want to do that. Here is a really pretty old postcard. It's sort of a glossy, it, I would say black and white, but it's more of a sepia. And again, an old book page, fabric, it's just really pretty. Kind hearts like garden flowers bring grace and beauty to our world. That is another greeting card. I love this old postcard of the man and the ruffled collar. And this piece of fabric, we'll see another one of those that had feathers on it. This is Rembrandt's son. That's a painting that he did. You can see another sort of neutral palette back here. That was a part of a calendar page and more fabric. Another postcard with neutral colors. That's sort of metallic, uh, kind of a metal thing. And paper and fabric elements. This postcard conjures up a lot of feelings. It is so graphic. Uh, but it is a work of art, and the colors are very neutral. Jason and I were just talking earlier today about different world religions and how they shape history and people and governments. So I decided to go ahead and put this postcard in. You don't have to use it. I realize it's very controversial or disturbing sometimes to have something like this. Here is another one of those beautiful cards with the lady's face. Um, these seem to be all from the same set. They're blank on the back. There's not any writing or anything. So they're almost like art prints. And that one says 2017. I'm not sure who did these, but I love them. Maybe that's part of a signature in there. I'm just not sure. And then we have the little card with the owls and the browns and beige and piece of the fabric with the feathers. There's another beautiful old postcard. See the old house and the beautiful colors. This piece of paper back here is very, very textured. So it's an interesting texture. This is the only piece of fabric that actually has some color, as in blue. I decided to go ahead and put it in, though, because it was part of the sample pack and it fits. It's not too far off from these other colors. Then we have another pretty postcard uh, structure. This is Juneau, Wisconsin. I believe all three of these postcards are from the same place. And there is yet one more with the street view. You can see the old car, the street light. The street looks like dirt. A dirt street. Photo postcard. Oak Street. I'd be interested to read a little bit more about that. Let's just put this, I'll take the paper clip off. Let's do this the right way so that we don't mess anything up. Love sharing things like this. This would be a beautiful project. I was so tempted to start it myself, but I really want to get some things listed. And I have several journals that I'm already in the middle of, including some supply books. Anyway, this is in the shop now. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more.